Good evening everybody, my name is James Cagle. Uh, tonight we are going to be making a video in SQL Server uh, 2005. We are using the SQL Server Management Studio. Tonight we are going to be uh, enabling a service broker in the uh, database vendors over here. So let's go ahead and expand vendors and we're going to go down to service broker. Okay. And we created a new query over here. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna go over here, we're gonna and we're gonna type in alter database A L T R Alter Database Vendors Set Enable Enable Broker I don't know if I have to capitalize some of these things. We're going to find out here in a second. All right, we're going to execute it. Command is completed successfully. Awesome. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to save that. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to name. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save this. We're just going to leave it uh, default in the name. Yes. Alright, and so what we're going to do over here, we're going to come over and we are going to create a new query. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to call this create message type. Create message type receive messages. I'm going to go validate. Oop. Validation none. Now this, I don't know whether it's going to work or not. This is kind of used for when you have two servers talking to one another and they're able to go back and forth. So we'll see. We'll go ahead and execute it. Ah, it actually worked. I didn't think it was going to. And so there we go. And we come on down over here. And it worked. So this is the case, this is the queries. Nice. And it worked. So that's basically how you um how you create the query and then you uh, enable the service broker and then you create another one messages for them to talk back and forth with between servers. Uh thank you much for watching.